your whole family is a pack of wild dogs! And I'm gonna get you! Sure, I'm pizza! A little pizza! Should have brought my guns. Oh, that's a lot of kickback on that. Oh, uh, oh. Back when animation seems to be at its lowest, there was a time where a lot of networks would try the cartoon cartoon approach. By having an animation block, Fox would have animation domination, something they've been doing for years, showing the Simpsons, Family Guy, real low effort, high reward stuff, and networks like Comedy Central would have Trip Tank. This would be a bunch of sketches from different animation styles and animators. It was really unique to see one of the sketches would actually get its own show. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about animation domination, spin-off animation domination, high def, or a ADHD for sure. This will be on the Fox sister channel FXX with it having two seasons and only airing six shows. I'm going to be doing each individual videos about each show and the show I'm starting off with is one of my favorites within the six. What's that show? Well, it's called Stone Crackles. So sit back, go eat that random bag of mushrooms. It's time to quack out. So before we get started, what is Stone Crackles? Well, it's an adult animated series created by Ben Jones, premiering on October 27, 2014. With it only getting 12 episodes, we follow the two best friends, Wit and Clay, and their misadventures in the city, which is named Cheeseburger. Which I shit you not, I didn't know the name of the city, like, I don't remember the city ever being named, or a sign that says the name of the city. But within the city, we follow more wacky characters, such as Wit and Clay's third best friend, Bart, who is voiced by the series creator Ben Jones and Barf plays a slow-headed wire card in the group, and that's saying something because once you watch this show, you realize that everyone here is batshit crazy. Look at this. Can you believe they got this big-ass fire pit and no one's lit it yet? Uh, I don't think that's a fire pit. What's up? Cool. But Barf takes it up a notch and even having some type of bad luck like in one episode Barf throws a ball and that thing flies up into the sky hitting the satellite which crashes into their house. But that's kind of the vibe of the whole show but other than Barf we have other notable characters like the roommate Dottie whose voice actor reminds me of Jesse from Toy Story. At first she kind of plays off the level headed mother figure always looking out for Wit and Clay. Even in one episode, her trying to set them in the right path, only for them to do one last prank, and it backfired, causing a huge panic within the city. I don't want to spoil what was the prank, but it has to do with crab apples. With that, you would think that whole character would be the least interesting, but that's not it at all. Even though she plays the big sister role, she has moments where she tweaks out, even having everyone else shocked, like when she invited Officer Barry over to get him to fall in love with, she tells him that she's also invited two other friends. That being two rats, one of them even being pregnant, and gives birth on top of Officer Barry's chest. It's literally one of my nightmares. Just the way it's shown, it's really disturbing. Also, in the show's plot, her and Officer Barry have feelings for each other but the only problem is that they don't know how to express it so it just looks like some type of puppy love oh yeah and officer barry is married and it has a dysfunctional family but even though he knows it's dysfunctional don't make fun of his family before i get into it i need to mention officer barry which he is voice acted by john c Riley from the tim and eric series and he plays the small town police officer with a good art but has a terrible family like his family sucks so much like for example you have his son who wants to cause nothing but destruction and even try to shoot his own dad in his first appearance and we see his crack addicted pregnant daughter and his wife who truly hates Barry even willing to feed him dog poop and do they explain why his family hates him so much even though officer Barry seems like a really nice guy no which I think if they had another season I feel like they could have talked about why but there has to be some other reason like what do you guys think and lastly we have bud at first I thought this was like a little brother or something but he's the neighbor kid that likes to power around with them how can I describe bud in stone crackles out of pocket and I know that saying something for 
for a show in this caliber but for the things that bud has done in the show you understand like in the last episode of the series bud falls in love with this mysterious girl and he teams up with officer barry so they can come up with a plan and within one of the plans bud sneaks up on a ceo duck and i guess he steals his voice and transfer all his money to bud it's really crazy but just just look at this and tell me what you guys think of the money market are directly tied not only to this index but the entire spectrum of the market the european markets the national markets the sorry steve i got cut off i have a new idea please transfer all of my money to bug corporation all of it that's right all of my money so what was the show about well it's pretty hard to explain but with the 12 episodes there's no real plot unless you just count the relationship story with barry and doggy but other than that every episode just does what it wants and most of the time the episode itself has parts that it feels like it doesn't even fit within its own show it just kind of feels like a cutaway gag but it's actually canon within the episode but i think that's what the charm is about this show just doing random things in the right way and i love the style of this show with the thin line and the pastel colors for the characters it really goes with the background being more detailed and hit with a filter that looks a little staticky can't really explain it and honestly you can just think ben jones who also worked on a show with the same style that being called to network's own problem solvers wait what the f thank you This game's broken. Yeah, after leaving Cartoon Network, Jones went to go work for Fox, and after ADHD was being created, Jones pitched Stonecrackers to Fox as a more pure and raw, uncut, with the same aesthetic that brought a life, the mascot problem solvers, but with more feathers. And they must have loved the pitch because they picked it up. And comparing the two, I would obviously go with Stonecrackers all day. I think after working with CN, he toned down a lot of the issues the first show had. That being the ugly character designs and being too colorful. That was pretty much a lot of reasons why a lot of people like me didn't wa like it or even watch it. And it shows making the characters more simple and easy to look at and being more adult means that there's room for better jokes. How much more better? Well, I'll talk more about that after this. to pinpoint my favorite episode but here's some that i love to re-watch time to time again first up we got episode 8 titled 2112 this episode focuses on dotty and barry as they both try to admit to each other with dotty hosting the party and brings two of her friends that being the rats i mentioned with a plan giving the idea to barry to leave his wife but the climax of the episode gets a little crazy with the b plot having win clay train the cat garth to hunt down rats because the bread has been getting eaten and it's one of the most funniest moments in the episodes how they get Barf to dress up as a rat just to get jumped to the point that at the end Barf comes back all beat up like Randy Marsh asking for a round two it's up there you gotta go check it out but the way it just ends in the episode with all the characters just dancing staring at the camera kind of gives a creepy pasta vibe and I kind of love it also gotta give props to episode 11 titled Hemisphere a other Officer Barry episode yeah a lot of the episodes I like has to deal with Officer Barry I think it's just biased but in this episode Officer Barry has been getting pranked by his fellow police officers and with his passive nature he doesn't retaliate but it gets to the point where he tries to ask for wit and clay's advice but he ends up asking barf after he finds out he's gonna get pranked at the biggest pie dinner in the city so they come up with a plan to sneak a stink bomb in the vents where all the officers are having dinner but it quickly backfires when they realize that barf switched the stink bomb with an actual bomb but at the end everyone is okay something about cream and pies and i don't know i'm not a scientist lastly my favorite episode is episode seven entitled blue feathers in this episode clay gets to pick the day's activity so he decides to play bad guys with his friends which leads the episode to become a blue velvet parody where him wit and barf cut off bud's beak and dotty tries to stop him they even end up kidnapping bud's mom this episode gets really dark and heavily relies on shock humor especially the quick jump scare we get in the beginning with dotty bored at work and seeing some messed up stuff that leads to finding out all this stuff but nothing brings the holy shit more until clay brings out a gun and let me say seeing this cartoon duck with a gun it is mad funny to me but the part where clay tries to prove that how crazy he is by putting the gun where he shouldn't and having officer barry drive 100 miles down the road and accidentally tapping clay's elbow that wakes up dotty because it was all a daydream yay
And I know it never happened plot is a real low effort way of writing some things, but I think this episode makes it work because it's not like we can just go back to normal with it not being a dream. Like, what were we supposed to just brush off that clay doing all that stuff? But towards the end, we end up getting another question is when Dottie asks herself why she has bad daydreams. While she gets ready to sleep, a whole tape in her eyes open, eating some mysterious mushrooms, and playing loud music and some crazy visuals. Talk about crazy. But that's not the end of the series. There was a small 10 episode spin-off series that focuses on Garth. Every episode is about 2 minutes long and I love how they brought different art styles into the episodes. Does this show bring some type of plot? Hell no, come on, it's stone crackles. But you can watch all the episodes on YouTube. As for the actual show, it was on Hulu for a long time and that's why I watch it. But they did take it down at some point. Random fun fact, Hulu's version uses a different intro than Animation Domination's high def version. With Hulu using this more death metal intro something out of metal apocalypse and adhd using care of self 44 by the zombies and on top of that another fun fact this was the intro i used back in the day when i used to have a cartoon podcast only ogs remember that one but since adhd is gone what are the shows from that era well in some situations like this usually the network will separate the show from the programming block so it could get its own thing but that's only for the most popular show within the block itself for example fairly odd parents started in what a cartoon before before it became its own show or in Comedy Central's Trip Tank, Jeff and Some Aliens, does anyone even remember that show? And when it comes to the most popular show in ADHD, that would have been Axe Cop, you know, the American version of Bobo 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 Bo Bo, that we get constantly reminded that it was created by a five-year-old lucky bastard. But who knows, maybe one day this 10-year-old show will get the clone high treatment and getting a whole new season. But Till then, time to binge watch this show another time. And that was Stone Crackles. I'm not gonna lie, this video is one that I've been wanting to make for years. Pretty much after the whole baby cake video I made. And originally, I was thinking of making a video talking about ADHD in a whole, but instead, I'm gonna be doing a video for each show so I can shine a light in each individually. And maybe I'll talk about ADHD when I'm done with the rest. What's the next show I'll talk about? Leave a comment, let me know. But that's gonna be it for the video. Did y'all watch Stone Crackles? Let me know in the comments down below. Below, and what was your favorite part of the show? But don't forget to hit a like and subscribe. And till the next one. This car is about to get turned on. Ah, help me! Ah, help! Too high because it yeah. was like a oh. That was the same note. Yeah, that was pretty good. God. Shorts. Why were they baggy? To put guns in them. And B, I had them on right now. Take the gun out. Mark you. <laughs> What's taking bar so dang long? Peace. Still believe there's a place in her